All right, let's talk about backups. So if you're a filmmaker, you want to get into the habit of backing up your footage. This is like filmmaking 101. The reason is, is because all of your footage is unique and it's, you know, original. It's something that you want to catalog. So it doesn't matter if you film a duck swimming around in a pond, which is relatively unexciting, or a UFO landing, if you capture the first UFO landing, you want to create your own library for, with which you can then go on to make films and have really great B-roll footage, etc., etc. And so in this video, as per your request, I'm going to discuss how I back up my footage. It's a relatively simple method, but it works. So if I were to lose a hard drive, heaven forbid, I would be able to pull up my backup to that hard drive, plug it in, and have all my footage ready, have all my projects ready, and so you know I could keep working. Now many of you have actually reached out to me and asked me to make a video like this because you're interested in how I do things and to see my workflow. And so in this video, I wanna give you just that. So before we begin, before we jump in and start talking about all these colorful hard, hard drives, I just wanna say that in my filmmaking, I fill up a two terabyte hard drive every few months. So I shoot YouTube videos, I work with clients on various projects that they want me to do, and then I also shoot documentaries. And shooting in HD, whether that's 4K or 1080p, you just go through hard drives pretty quick. You fill them up. So every few months, I have a completely full two terabyte hard drive that needs to be backed up. I've researched different backup methods over the years. Some are very complex, some require RAID hard drives, Others are even more expensive where people literally set up rooms in their houses that have supercomputers that are constantly backing and rebacking everything up. I don't quite take it to that extreme, primarily because I don't have the funds to do it. But I have found a method that just works very well. It's rock solid, knock on wood, and that's what I'm going to share with you today. So let's punch in and I'll kind of walk you through the evolution of my backups and also tell you what my current method is and hopefully it'll be helpful to you. Okay, so here's a small sample of some of my hard drives and here's the skinny on how I back up my footage. We'll talk about all the different hard drives a little bit later. But essentially I have my working drive and while I'm working, uh, because I work on it daily or weekly, it would be annoying to clone it all the time. So I just have kind of a temporary backup where I just copy files. I, I literally drag and drop onto this temporary backup. Then when the project is finished and I'm ready to legitimately back it up, I have my main backup and I use cloning software to go from this drive to this drive. There's lots of different cloning software out there, but I use carbon copy. So once my project is finished, I literally just carbon copy it to my main backup drive. And now I have two. I never mess with these two files. These are my two backups. And one of these is gonna live at my house in a drawer in a safe dry space. And then another one of these I take to storage. So should my house ever burn down and this one gets lost, I will always have this one. So once again, I have my working drive, which will eventually be archived. I have my temporary backup drive, which is where I daily drag and drop and replace files so that this is like my most current backup. And then once my project is fully done, I make a complete carbon copy of the entire thing onto drive C, drive B, I don't really know what you would call it. And then I store this one offsite. It's literally that simple and it works. And then if I'm really absolutely positively worried about only having two backups, then I'll buy another drive and just double up and carbon copy this one onto this one. And now I have two backups living in different locations. Now let's talk about all these different drives. So initially I started editing on these G-RAID technology drives. And these are really good fast drives but they're very heavy, they're very bulky, and because I do a lot of run and gun 
shooting and I want to be able to dump and back up footage on site, these don't really fit my needs anymore. These are for like maybe the editor that stays home and never leaves the house. These would be a good alternative. So I've, I've basically walked away from those because they're just too big. Then on the opposite extreme, there's like these really cheap ones that you get like at a Target or a Walmart. And this one's made by Seagate. And this is like, I won't buy these unless I absolutely have no other options because these are typically slower drives. You can't really edit straight onto this drive. Uh, they just don't have the speed. And they're also flimsy. If this thing were to fall, it would smash in half and your footage would be lost forever. You know? Same is true for all of these. Like any drive that's less than a hundred bucks is generally going to be slow and is kind of a worst case scenario drive in my humble opinion. Another option that I've used in the past, which has worked fairly well, is that I basically have this little hard drive toaster and I buy just a raw hard drive. This one's made by Seagate and it literally just plugs in here and you can clone straight to this. That way you have a relatively small sized hard drive that you can fit into a little case and now you can have your backup stored off site and it takes a lot less room than this guy. It's a lot lighter. It's more, you know, storage friendly. So this is probably my second favorite option. Uh, this is definitely the budget option because these hard drives, they don't cost very much. A two terabyte hard drive, last I checked, was like a little bit over a hundred bucks and it's fast. So it's a lot faster than something like this. By far my most favorite option at the moment are these orange Lasse rugged drives. These things are totally my favorite. I only use them from now on until I find something better, which would be very hard to do because these things rock. So first things first, they're rugged because they have a nice aluminum casing. So it's very durable. Even if I were to drop this, it would probably be fine. And then that casing fits in a very hard rubber case. So this is essentially like a helmet for your hard drive. So if I were to drop this from the roof of my sprinter van, it would most likely be fine. And I just dig that. Because as I already mentioned, I do a lot of run and gun shooting. I'm often on the road and things fall all the time. So these things give me peace of mind. I'm currently working on a Mac with a Thunderbolt. And so a lot of these drives come standard with just a Thunderbolt port, which makes them very fast. Now eventually these things will become obsolete if they haven't already. And the nice thing about this company is that they always give you another option. And so you can plug in a USB 3.0 and doesn't matter which future computer I'll be on, the USB will most likely be part of that computer. So these are great little drives. This is a four terabyte model. This is a two terabyte model. And they're just rock. So the bottom line is this, these are great little drives. I can slide three of them easily in my backpack. I can have my working drive, my temporary copy, and my main copy, and not even know that they're really in there. Versus carrying three of these guys. You know, that's, that's no longer a backpack, that's a crate. And so basically, that's how the cookie crumbles. That's how I keep my footage safe. Long story short, I basically buy a lot of hard drives and I make copies. It's as easy as that. No, it's not the most sophisticated system, but the bottom line is that it works. And I have had hard drives fail on me and luckily I've had copies. So none of my footage was lost, none of my clients' projects were lost, and that is a very good thing.